Hi players, thanks so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. It's me, Chloe from Chloe Tree Plans. And in this video, I am going to be showing you how I plan in my A5 Daily Duo. It is coiled, I have it inside of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up some stickers in my monthly view. I may even set up the week at a glance page and I have a daily duo kit here that I wanna use. So I'm gonna use this as well. So I think I'm gonna try to do all three in this video. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. If you are a new viewer, welcome to my channel. If you are a True Blue subscriber, welcome back. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so with the little red button in the bottom right corner. When you subscribe, it lets YouTube know you're enjoying my content and allows me to continue to grow my channel. All of the links to these items will be in the description below. So if you're looking for a link or a coupon, you can check that out in the description. If you don't know where the description is, it is the little arrow next to the title of this video. When you click it, it opens up a full description below. So getting into the A5 Daily Duo, I wanted to kind of do a quick planner check-in to just talk about how it's been working out for me. So honestly, I have really been enjoying this planner lately. I started using it in June and so I did do a redate. You can go ahead and check it out with the video in the cards if you want to see that content. And I did go ahead and set up this planner in June and now we're into July. So I have used it for over a month now and I have really been enjoying it. I'm just showing you some of my favorite pages in this planner. It's been really functional for me, but I've also been able to really decorate and have some fun with it too, which is always good for me. So I enjoy using this. I've been having a good time in this planner and truly, I don't even decorate every single day. So as you can see, like on these two pages, I didn't put any decorations, a little bit of marker here and there, but mostly just pen. And I've really been enjoying that too. So I love how versatile this planner is and how I can use sticker kits or I can use nothing at all. And so if you're someone who enjoys a nice fresh page every day, I would definitely recommend trying out this planner. So getting into my monthly view, I do have a monthly kit that I got from Planner K and honestly, I forgot to put it on at the top of the month, but we're still very early into July. So I don't wanna let the month pass without using it. This is a harmony neutral kit from Planner Kate. I will put the link to this, a direct link in the description below. I've been hearing folks saying that they have a hard time navigating the site. There are a whole lot of options, so I totally understand that. And so what I wanna do is make sure I'm providing direct links. So it takes a little bit more time for me to do that, but I don't mind doing it for you all. I know how frustrating it is when you're looking for something and you can't find exactly what you're looking for. So I will be linking this July kit. Of course, you can pick it for other months as well, which is what I love about Planner Kate. So this says July, but you can get this same exact kit for any month that you're looking for. So don't feel like, you know, you have to get the, this in July. You can get this for August, September, and so on. So that's something else I love about Planner Kate's designs is you can get them for whatever month you want. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my planner. As you can see, it's, I mean, it's a quick process, not hard to do at all. And it just adds a little bit of, you know, something different. Every month has florals on it in this In Bloom Daily Duo by Erin Condren. And so I like this kind of setup because I can change the actual planner. So I like that I can make this whatever I want. So for example, if you know you really wanted the, let's say in bloom planner, but you ended up feeling like the neutral is better, you can get an in bloom themed sticker kit and then kind of make that month in bloom for you. So that's just an example of how these kits can work. If you notice these kits are repositionable, <laughs> you see I'm just taking it right off. So I messed it up a couple of times. I'm not going down far enough and you can actually peel them off very easily and they're still sticky. So just putting that out there that they are repositionable just in case you're like me and you mess up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my craft tweezers out of my planning pack for these other stickers I have here. So of course these stickers do not have to be used, but I really enjoy using the date dots. So I am gonna go ahead and add these really quickly.
Now that I have my date dots on, I'm gonna go ahead and add this little strip at the bottom. It's like a strip of washi tape and it's a sticker and I enjoy using this at the bottom of my spread. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. I have my ruler from Erin Condren and I like to use this just to kind of cut my washi with. Y'all know I'll use anything to cut my washi. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know I will take any little thing, any sharp edge, any bookmark, whatever it looks like, and I will cut the washi with that. Just makes things a little bit easier. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use this one here. Now that that's laid down, I did write some stuff in here. So one thing I do is I do actually go ahead and write in my planner. I don't hold back um, before I put the kit down because I always figure I can rewrite it if need be and whatever needs to be done will be done. So I don't worry about it much. So I'm going to rewrite what's here. It's a little guide. And so I'm just going to re kind of rewrite it there. So now so that it doesn't like show through weird, I'm gonna use a little bit of white out and I'm gonna white out this cause I don't want it to come through the paper. This is just me being extra. You don't need to do this, but I use a pretty dark pen. So I figure it would show through if I leave it. And so as you see, I'm just gonna cover it up a little bit just so that it's not coming through so strong. And now I'm gonna see how long this is cause I don't, I'm not sure. I don't wanna really cut it. I'd rather just leave the whole thing on the page. So I'm gonna start here and go all the way up. There we go. So we have our task bar there, whatever this is on the side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just add a few little stickers for things that I need to remember on certain dates. And of course, I will fill these in later, but I just wanted to go ahead and get started on putting them in here. And what I like to do with this sticker sheet is I like to move it to the back of my planner because Throughout the month, I like to be able to go ahead and grab stickers from the sticker sheet. So like these little few stickers I haven't used yet, I like to be able to actually use them. So what I'm gonna do is take this sticker sheet and for the stickers I didn't use, put it in the back of my planner. This is why I like having this little pocket back here because I can put random things back here. And so I like to use that. Now that our monthly view is done, I'm gonna go ahead and move into our you know, days of the month. So this is how my weeks have been going so far, or days I should say, have been going so far in my planner since the first. Um, and so as you can see, I've been using it. There have been a couple days where I just kind of relied on my weekly planner because I still you do use a vertical weekly. So for the most part, I've been using my planner since the first. I mean, again, it's only what, the ninth, um, but still I've <laughs> been using it for the most part. I think that one or two days maybe that I didn't use it. So I feel good about that. All right, so now I'm gonna flip to the end of next week and I'm gonna go ahead and put in my productivity page here. So what's really cool about this kit is it makes it super easy for me to be able to label and make this a super functional page. So I'm really excited to be using this finally in my in my kit. You can choose different colors and different themes from Planner K. Again, I will do a direct link to this as well. And this is an A5 size, but I'm pretty sure she also has seven by nine if you're using the seven by nine daily duo. And so if you want a different size, then, you know, you should be able to find that one too. I will, again, put that link in my description so you can find it.
All right, so now that I have this spread here, I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna go ahead and add a few things that I wanna keep in mind for the week that I don't want to forget about, all right? So this is a cool at a week thing because you can put different notes and you can remember different things. So I'm gonna go ahead and put at the bottom a reminder. So I did go ahead and write a few things over here. I think this side is really versatile. You can do a little priority list for each day. You can do meal planning for each day. You could also write in a workout routine for each day. I mean, it's very versatile. You can put whatever you want here, um, appointments and things like that. Um, and so, yeah, I, I think it's really cool to be able to have all this in one spot in the Daily Duo. If you watched my video about my workshop and planner brunch, I did have a dream plan hustle planner workshop and brunch recently. And so if you watched that video, you know that Planner Cape was one of the sponsors for the brunch. And then another sponsor was Elisa Ravel. Elisa Ravel went ahead and sent me these stickers to use in my planner. And so I do want to go ahead and use them to see how they look. I'm really excited to be able to use these stickers. First of all, they're great quality. I love the quality of these stickers. Her shop is on Etsy, so it's super easy to find. And I'll put the link to these stickers in my description below as well. I really enjoy using these so far. And so of course I tested them out just to make sure and I love them. So I'm gonna go ahead and start using these stickers. You should definitely check them out with the link in my description. And I love a good Daily Duo kit. It's not necessary. Obviously, you can use whatever you want. You could totally do this kit without any stickers, but I love doing it. And I really appreciate those of you who are watching this video and don't use stickers because I think it's a cool time to just get together, you know, virtually and plan. So even if you are not doing the same kind of planning that I'm doing, it's really cool to just sit down and plan with a plan with me video this is something that i enjoy doing myself and i do it and watch other creators as well from time to time so that i can support their channel so it's really cool to be able to just sit back relax and plan with a little bit of entertainment even if you aren't using the same stickers and even if you are using a different kind of planner so if you're a daily planner or not either way i do appreciate you tuning in i think it's kind of cool to just you know plan with a little bit of entertainment a little inspo um and it helps me to be consistent as well so as you can see i went ahead and put the little stickers on each day and now i'm gonna move into the actual date so i'm gonna put the date back we covered it up so now i'm gonna put the date back into this spread. What's also really cool is you have this box for each day. I am kind of obsessed with using these boxes. I'm trying to remember is the best way to do it this way or this way here. And I'm thinking it's gonna be this way. Um, but I like coordinating them with whatever the theme is. And I really do enjoy using these boxes on each page. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a nice way to fill that space at the bottom. And then of course you can write on top whatever it is that you wanna write. So I do enjoy using these stickers as well. And my favorite part too is just how, how well it coordinates. I mean, it coordinates super well and I enjoy just being able to coordinate my stickers which, with each layout.
Now these right here, these are supposed to be for the top of the page, I believe. I personally enjoy just using this at the top and not putting these two there. But of course, to each his own. What I'm gonna do is put it at the bottom as kind of like a washi tape kind of. Um, and so that is what I enjoy doing because this doesn't come with enough washi for all seven pages. So I'm just gonna kind of make this my washi. So in addition to the actual kit, we also have these little add-ons, which I love. This is part of the kit. And so these have different time slots, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and measure and kind of talk about what these time slots are. So this one right here covers three hours. So this is a three hour time slot. Then this one, of course, you can just flag and use whatever you want for this. You can cover up your to-do list. Um, you can cover up things or whatever you want. You can cover two and a half hours, but you can also just use it as a box for whatever you want, of course. I like to use this for little tasks, okay? And so what I'm gonna do right now is I am gonna set one day up. I'm not gonna set up all the days just because, again, that's the fun with daily planning. I do enjoy being able to really plan out my week as I go. Um, and then I also got these two. These cover up specific times as well so this one is two hours here at the bottom that's two hours this one is an hour and a half this one is one hour and then this one is a half hour so you have all these different times i really love that and then if you just want to block off a time or block off a space you can use this one as well or just use it to kind of like add some color so that's what i'm going to do here for my monday i'm going to go ahead and add some color and then for my 9 a.m slot i'm going to put that there because that's when i start work I have a meeting that goes from 10 30 to 12 so i'm gonna go ahead and put that here all right and then what's cool about this is if you have a time slot that you don't want to use right like this 6 and 7 p.m i don't want to use that for 6 and 7 p.m i'd rather use this as like a list so i'm just going to cover this whole section and use this as a list so this kit is fun and functional i really enjoyed using it today so i'm going to go ahead and just kind of show you how i would write on that so for this time i'm going to put start work Here, I'm gonna put emails. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and put meeting because I have a meeting here. I have a little meeting sticker from Planner Kate. And so that's another thing I enjoy doing. I will be going in and finding little stickers that I have laying around and adding them. And that's something that I definitely recommend, even if you're more of a paper and pen person, if you have the stickers, use the stickers. So if you just have stickers laying around your house or wherever, Go ahead and find them and use them. So I'm gonna go ahead in my planner cake book now and just look through to see if I have anything that applies. For example, my AM routine sticker that always works. So I'm gonna put that here at the top. Then I have my PM routine sticker. And then another sticker from Elisa Ravel that she did that I'm obsessed with is 30 day journaling challenge. So if you are doing my 30 day journaling challenge, this is for you. I am obsessed with this sticker sheet and love that she created this. Um, so I'm gonna take the 30 day journaling challenge sticker and I'm gonna add that to my little to-do list. And I'm actually gonna put that over here. It's like a part of my to-dos. Of course, when the dates get closer, I'm going to go ahead and fill this out completely. But I just wanted to give you all kind of an idea of what that looks like. If you want to see a fully filled out page, I can show you what one of my fully filled out pages looks like. So here's one here. I use stickers from Mr. or Mrs. Mint here. And then I also have a fully some fully filled out pages here. This is also a kit from Elisa Ravel that I love. It's tie dye, which is super cute. Um, and so, you know, I do have fully fold out pages that I've used. Here's another one that I used a little Erin Condren with. So, you know, I do have a few different filled out pages. So as you can see, my pages don't look super cluttered. Again, it's only one day. There's only so many things I can do on that one day, but I do try to go ahead and lay out my week. So I do have some fully filled out pages for a little bit of inspo for you all. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick flip through so you can see every page. Here is Monday and Tuesday. We got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then we have our weekly recap, which I love. So make sure you go ahead and check out all these shops. We have Planner Kate, Elisa Ravel, Mr. and Mrs. Mint, 
so much more um and i love these stickers so you definitely want to check them out again i will when the day comes sit down and plant and use markers and use different fun things but when i set my week up this is what i'm doing i'm setting up the bare bones and then i'm going in and i'm planning each day so just want to put that out there that this is kind of how i structure my planning process and so let me know in the comments below if you are using a daily planner right now if you're thinking about it for the next year let me know how you feel about that and let me know if you are into the stickers i mean I love stickers. I know they're a staple in the planner community. I also understand they didn't work for everyone, but I really enjoy using them. And I just like to make sure I'm using the ones that I, you know, acquire. I don't want to be hoarding stickers and having all these stickers and not using them. So let me know what you think about this kit from Elisa Ravel. I think it's super cute. And let me know in the comments what planner you're using right now. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, give me some kind of pink emoji because I have pink nails this week. So give me some type of pink emoji in the comments to let me know you made it to the end of this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Chloe Plans, and I will see you all in the next video.